Kara Fatma full name Fatma Sahar Erdan, 1888 July 2, 1955 was a decorated Turkish heroine who distinguished herself as a militia leader and soldier during the Turkish War of Independence. Nickname, the word Kara literally means black in Turkish and is sometimes used as a synonym for brunette, when used for warriors, however, it usually means courageous. Life She was born in Erzurum, in the Erzurum Vilayet of the Ottoman Empire. Her father was Yusuf Aga. Her husband died during the Caucasus campaign in the First World War. In 1919, she traveled to Shiva's where a congress was held by Mustafa Kemal Pasha later Ataturk. She requested to be enlisted in the army. After Mustafa Kemal Pasha's approval, she formed a militia group. There were 43 women in addition to 700 men under her command. She was taken prisoner twice by the Greek army. According to an interview in the newspaper Tanin, during her second imprisonment, she was taken to the headquarters of General Nikolaos Trikoupis, where the general spoke to her. She managed to escape from the prison soon afterwards. She fought at both the Izmit Bursa and Izmir fronts. According to the columnist Yilmaz Ozdil, her unit was one of the first to enter Izmir during the liberation of Izmir from the Greeks on September 9, 1922. Her unit controlled Karsiaka north of Izmir Bay. Later years, although female soldiers were unheard of until 1919, Kara Fatma was officially appointed as a soldier, as were many others including Halai Dedapadvar under Mustafa Kemal Pasha. She began her military career as a corporal and ended as a first lieutenant. She then retired and donated her pension to the Turkish Red Crescent. She almost faded away from public memory until 1933, when a journalist found her living in poverty in a former Russian monastery in Istanbul with her grandchild. In 1944, she published her memoirs. She was given work and honored by displaying her medal on military parades and national days. Kara Fatma died on July 2, 1955 at the Darulasis TR, a protection house for the poor and old, run by the municipality of Istanbul, where she spent the last years of her life. Legacy She was decorated with a Medal of Independence, a medal reserved to those people who majorly contributed to the Turkish War of Independence.